Good morning, folks. This morning, I wanted to share a video. I was working with a client. We were developing a, a form for uh, teachers to have parents collect information about um, work samples. So in this form, we had uh, several uh, uh, elements in the form where we were collecting different work samples with uploaded files. So as a result, uh, when you look at the folder where this is contained, we end up with a uh, work sample folder for each one of the um, elements that we were collecting. And what I needed to have on this spreadsheet was a, a setup sheet. I wanted to collect the folder names, I wanted to collect the actual folder ID of the parent folder, and then I wanted to collect the folder names and folder IDs of those subfolders. So in order to do this, it's, it is, uh, you know, manually this is a little bit um, difficult to do and tedious. So you know, typically you could get this parent folder by getting into this folder and going to this folder, grabbing this ID, but making sure you, you get it right. So I wanted to do that all via a script. And so let's just uh, run the script once and see what happens. So here's my setup file. I'll just go ahead and delete this. Um, and then I have set up a script and it's got a menu item, list folder names and IDs. And you'll see that immediately creates a setup sheet, formats it, gets all the folder IDs, formats these uh, cells bold. Anyway, it, uh, it creates that setup sheet, which is the main thing I was after. Notice uh, one of the reasons I've set it up this way is now if I mouse over, um, happen to mouse over one of these folders, I can immediately open that folder and I can see the files. In fact, if, if this was set up this way, I could actually see the files um, immediately from the spreadsheet. And that, that's actually pretty handy. So if I do the same thing here, open my reading, there's the files that I uploaded for, for that. And this is all just uh, dummy test information. So, um, how did I write this script? Let's take a look. Um, I'm going to include, by the way, in the notes for this YouTube video, uh, all of the scripts to make it easier if you wanted to work with this yourself. So let's take a look. I just want to really run through this. I don't want to take the time to write out this whole script. Uh, it's time consuming. So what I've done is created, first of all, in this section here, an on open function on open function creates this uh, item, this menu item that we can use to run the script. And then there's a main function here, and this main function basically just calls all the other functions. So the first thing we do, let's come down here. We, we first need to create this new sheet. So basically, we go and get this active spreadsheet. We tell it uh, to, uh, we create a new sheet name uh, called setup with three columns 20 rows is what i wanted and then we uh, the, create a new sheet uh, with this function insert sheet and the new sheet name and the new sheet name is setup and then what we wanted to do because when you create a new sheet it's you know 26 columns and a thousand rows so i wanted to um, use this function to delete all the extra columns delete all the extra rows I wanted to set my column width to 350, and then I wanted to format uh, bold these particular cells. And then uh, important in this cell here, I wanted to show you this cell is a formula where I'm actually combining the HTTPS drive, gagula, drive slash folder slash, and then the ID, and that's how I can, with a um, by row lambda function, create a folder or create create a link to that folder in the spreadsheet so we we create <clears throat> we create the new sheet then um, we call the main function you can see that when you when you click this you are calling this main function so the main function is called its first job is to insert the new sheet Next job is to get the folder ID of the parent folder. Well, we do that with this function, get the folder ID, and we first 
Again, get the active spreadsheet, get its ID, and then we let parent equal the drive app, get the file by ID spreadsheet, get the parents, and get the ID of that parent folder. We return that so that we can use that in the next piece of the function, which is this folder ID. So, um, and the folder is this um, get folder ID. And then what we want to do is get the folder IDs and names, which is this, uh, which is this next function here. Uh, let folder IDs and names equals this actual um, function, get folder IDs and names, calling folder ID, which we um, are taking and getting with the script. And then we're taking all this data that we're collecting, because if you look here, down in this line here in the get folders and IDs, we're creating an empty array, and then we're pushing all this information into that empty array. And then here, we are grabbing the data and putting it to the spreadsheet. So the range, uh, row three, column one, and then it's telling us here to make this many columns and this many um, uh, and, and set the values in there. And then also we're setting the value in, in B1. If we look here, we're just setting the value in B1 of the parent folder. So I've uh, tried to outline all this in a sheet. You could open that up, but it works really well. As you can see, um, you basically run the script. You don't have this sheet in here and it runs it all for you. I hope this is helpful. Thanks for watching.